Yeah. Well, he's filling in the swamp back there. Yeah. So it's just fill. It'll make it more solid, so. Because they're down in that lower area over there on that side. Yeah. So we're doing him a favor as well, actually. But it also saves us. And saves Bill having to drive back and forth to his house. I know. But it's probably lightweight now because it's been down for so long. See if he's gonna grab that big stump this time. Yep. It's a big piece. That is huge. Wow. You can really see he knows what he's doing. Now you guys can see like with that last stump why we couldn't clean that out of there ourselves. I love how he does this. This is like the coolest thing.
That was an enormously huge stump. For good size. You know what I think is funny? I was just thinking about this. So eight years ago, you came and put that all in that pile, and now eight years later, you're back cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, was it, was it, it was eight, eight years ago? Yeah, because when we first got the property, I remember the first time we, remember we stayed in the tent? Well, I couldn't find the well. I right, and you I ran, ran it over? It. Yeah, you ran over the cap. I remember that too, yep. Well, it was all, it was all, everything was overgrown. You had no idea, so. But we had pushed everything when we took those trees out. We pushed everything, uh, the original trees that we took out, and pushed them all up front. I wasn't even, you know, never would have thought that we would have made the progress that we've made here, you know. But yeah, so, because I've been up here, um, started my seventh year. I don't know if she's drinking a beer, I know. Hey, 78, who cares, right? Uh, you know, seven years ago, as of June, we started our seventh year already up here. So... Because the kids were 13 when we moved up here, and they'll be 20 at the end of the month. Oh, okay. Yeah, so time flies. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, well, we'll let you get the next load going. And All right, guys, so that is load number five. But it was eight years ago that Bill came here. If you go back and look at those videos um, that we did back then, you will see... Um, the video, I don't know if I, I, did, I got it on video of him cleaning that up and bulldozing that area or not. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. And uh, I'd have to go back and look myself. <laughs> so, but uh, he was here, like I said, and he had uh, taken the bulldozer and he opened that area up, up front. Um, this here area wasn't even opened up at that point. We did that later. And, uh, yeah, it's been... Uh, slow and steady progress over the course of many many years but uh, this is uh, kind of uh, an accumulation of uh, this is like the cherry on top because this is a huge area um, that can be utilized like I said for um, I definitely plan on once these trees here are out of here this is going to be a little small orchard that we're going to put up in this area and utilize that uh, like I said we got the apple trees out front here that we trimmed up this year and uh, we'll continue to do that and uh, we'll work on everything so coming together slow and steady so uh, there goes load number five and uh, but yeah it just that that one made a big dent that load because that that stump was just enormous but uh, you got to remember when he started today it was back to here and now you know he's got all into this area there's definitely a few more loads to go. I was originally thinking six. Uh, Mom said ten. And uh, it might be more than ten. I think it's going to be more than ten, Ma. I know. Could be. Could be. We will see. This is number five. Oh, is it five? Yeah, it's number five. Yep. Um, right, and right. that's the second one he's taken down there, isn't it? Took two, no, he took two to his house. Okay. Two to his house. I'm pretty sure it was two. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it is six. I, maybe I could be wrong. I don't remember. Uh -huh. But uh, well, folks are going to have to watch the videos and find out where we... So much for him, oh, my God. It's perfect. It's not that far. He can come back, and it's, it's going to go much, much quicker. I might even be able to get a ride in this afternoon in this freaking absolutely gorgeous day. That's what I want to do. But I'm obviously I'm going to stick around here while he's working on this. Yeah. You got him. yeah so. Now, do you need to cut any more logs before he gets back? Not this time, no. Okay. Now there's going to be some farther in that I'm going to have to cut once he pulls them out of there. But uh, like this this area here, when he cleans that out, that'll be probably the next load that he takes out, and and then he'll dig back further in and pull that crap out of there. But uh, what a difference this is going to make. This is going to. Yeah. Yeah. Beck's not feeling so good because of the bee stings. She definitely had a reaction because she got stung quite. A... How many times do you think she got stung altogether? What's that? How many times did Becky get stung? Seven. No, it was more than that because she said she got. No, an... Five in her arm, two on her back. Oh, was that it? Yeah. 
Oh, I thought she had. Right, I know that on her arm. So, no, not pleasant, not pleasant at all. Then my neighbor that lives farther in here, um, this is somebody else's property, and they had given him permission to go in there and clean up uh, some of the deadfall that uh, so he could use it for firewood. And so he was in there, so I went in there and I told him, I said, man, this upper corner up here, I said, watch out for that because that's where the uh, yellow jackets are. And he's like, all right. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, I am going to jump off of this video for right now, and uh, we will see you on the next one. But like I said, I, I hope these aren't boring for you guys. Um, it's, it's very exciting for us because this is, uh, you know, this is like the cherry on top. Uh, getting this part done and then once he you know once he cleans it all out and then he'll smooth it all out with the bulldozer it's going to just I think it'll look absolutely awesome and then we'll have a nice area to in the spring do some planting up here uh, you know get some uh, fruit trees in and that type of stuff so really really excited about it uh, I think it's going to be awesome and like I said we'll get these freaking trees out of here and uh, it's going to open us up more for better solar as well, which is important. And uh, that's, you know, that's all part of it as well. It's all part of er everything. Is, kind of comes together for everything. So it's coming together, though. We're getting there. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off. Uh, remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important. And we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity. You're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope you all have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.